Hello! Um, well, it's been almost seven months since um, my husband got to go to our home in paradise. And um, by faith, I say it's getting better. You know, you'd think by now um, the pain of missing him wouldn't be so strong, but it still is. I, I miss him so much. And the more that time goes on, the more time I have to reflect on what a gift he was to me and how he really just completed me as a person. And um, I thank God for Jeff Harder in my life and I thank God that he brought that man um, to me to make me the complete woman that God designed me to be. And, um, and being able to look forward now, I've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, gosh, there's so much I want to do for his kingdom. And Jeff and I had um, so many plans and so many dreams that we wanted to accomplish for, for his glory. And those dreams um, haven't diminished at all. If anything, they've only been ignited. And um, I can't say that I look forward to all that the future holds and all that I get to do for, for kingdom's sake. And um, I don't even know really what to say on this update, except that um, I'm healing and life is grand. God is so big and so faithful. His promises are true, and, and we just need to be present and open and submitted to Him. There's nothing else to worry about. There's nothing else to fret over. But there is a lot to, um, to be sad over. Um, one thing that was really beautiful is that Jeff, um, about two years ago, we talked and um, he brought up the idea of us using our airline miles to send me and my mother on a mother-daughter trip to whatever country my mother wanted to go to. And so we sort of tricked her and we called her and he's like, Mom, we have a competition and we want to see who's right. What's your favorite country in the world that you would want to go to? And without hesitation, she said, Switzerland. We were both shocked. Well, um, my mom, we told her that we wanted to take her to Switzerland and she would have nothing to do with it because she knew that Jeff and I um, never really got that much time alone together and she did not want to take me away from him for any time. So when he got to go home, I said, Mom, he wanted us to take this trip. And so we did. <laughs> and we had the most beautiful time. And my mom was right. I think Switzerland is probably if not the most, one of the most beautiful, majestic, breathtaking countries of this world. I mean, it's just beautiful. So she picked the right country. And um, my husband would have loved it too. And we made beautiful memories together, my mother and I. And we laughed and we enjoyed and we soaked in God's beauty. It was amazing. Um, Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> um, yeah, so I look forward to um, hosting um, a deaf staff retreat coming up here in a couple weeks and doing uh, the Steve Memorial Project that's coming up at the end of July. And um, yeah, I'll give you another update after that. So, thank you all for your continued prayers. Please keep them coming. Um, my neck is healing. It's a slow process, but it is healing. And 
I'm starting to dream again. And it's going to be grand. So, thank you. Bless you. Okay. Until next time. I um, wanted to mention, too, that I've started writing about some of the thoughts about my wonderful um, husband and, and how he loved me. And I'm going to be adding to that blog. So it's at blogspot.com. Um, R dot harder. And I'm not sure what the address is, but I'm sure y'all know how to figure that out. Blogspot uh, R dot harder. So thank you. Take this heart and breathe it back to life